Hey guys, as you know, my favorite place to detect is in the woods. So I figured we'd go over a few things if you're thinking of, or you already do, detect in the woods. Uh, reminders of things you may already know, or maybe something you don't already know. One of the first things you want to do is, uh, you don't have to, it's just what I do. I always have one ear open. I'm always listening. That's how I so know that, that tree is. was warning me, because I've been hearing the groans. And it's groaning because it's on that tree above me. Wanting to definitely tip over if you can see the angle of it. And the fact that the one side of it's probably hollow. So that one's ready to fall sometime. This tree is not that thick. It's a young tree. So we won't be detecting under it. If it's not a private permission, but a, a town, city, county, or state park that you're going to, you want to know the rules. And sometimes they're a little fudgy the way they write them. Um, it could say something like, uh, no digging up native plants, um, no digging in the grass. There's just different ways they'll word it, and I'll show a couple examples right here. The third thing you want to do is make sure you're always aware of your surroundings while you're in the woods. And that goes for dicey areas too, if you're doing a city park and it's a little sketchy. Just pay attention to what's going on around you. I see people walking the trails by me all the time. They don't even know I'm here and I'm 10 feet away. So always pay attention to your surroundings, especially if you live in an area with wildlife that can do you some harm. <laughs> And if you're lucky like me and you don't, remember that there's wildlife in other places. Um, the third thing you want to do is make sure you bring a backpack with you, even if it's just for a day. Um, to add, you know, especially in this hot weather we're having now, if you're watching this in the summertime, bring extra water, uh, bring a change of socks, um, anything you think you might need. If it's wood you're unfamiliar with, put the trail map in your backpack or your front pocket or your back pocket, but just make sure you have it handy if you've never been in those woods and they're rather large ones. Study the area that you're going to. If it's like I'm in a county park right now, uh, I know these woods very well. They just recently changed all the trails around and made new ones, but I know where I'm going. But if I didn't know, I would have been lost. Um, but I do know this park is only about 330 acres, so any direction I go, I'm going to hit a home or a road. So make sure you know the area you're in. Uh, if you're going to be out all day, you want to make sure you're fully charged or you bring extra batteries with you. Put those in your backpack. Put your extra water in your backpack. Put a snack in your backpack. Um, you know, bring a change of shoes in case it's a downpour and you don't want to walk around in squelchy, wet, nasty shoes. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then uh, when you detect in the woods, it's just like when you detect anywhere else. Swing it low, swing it even. Make sure uh, you're not tipping up on the ends because you'll lose some detecting area. And also, uh, sometimes you might want to move the leaves when you hear a signal and then go over it again because you'd be surprised at the difference that you hear. So that's basically it. Just make sure you're prepared for any event with your backpack. Put it. I also carry a first aid kit, um, among other things. Make sure your phone's fully charged, and just make sure the area you're in know all the things about the area. Are there snakes? Are there? Are there bears or is, are there mountain lions?
just make sure you know the area you're in. Uh, and always keep an eye out for Sasquatch because they could be anywhere. And where I'm at, pretty sure the Jersey Devil doesn't come up this far. But I'm always keeping an eye out for him. So, until next time, swing low, swing slow, and find the good treasures. Be kind to each other, and peace. Doing an opening. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm in the woods again. I decided to go ahead, and, even though it's the middle of July and it's really overgrown. Look at all that growth. There's still some areas that are detectable because uh, we had some recent rainfalls and hoping that some of the relics that are still mixed in here in the iron will come through with uh, the amount of rain we got and the fact that it's got a really nice leaf covering over us can you see that um that uh you know it retains some of the moisture because it's just been so dry and hot and the ground has been very dry so conductivity is not that great so i'm hoping today we can dig up at least one cool find mixed in in all this iron because like i say the relics don't run from the iron so all the easy pickings you find them quickly and you and you think you've hunted it out because there's all iron left, hunt that iron. Relics don't run from iron. They're mixed in there too. If there's relics and a lot of them, they're mixed in that iron as well. So hopefully I'll see you on a good find or the only bit of video you're going to get today is me telling you all this and saying hi to Gene P. Hey. So we'll see you on the first one. Peace. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I'm not allergic, so. All right, we got a squeaker here. Don't know if you can see that, but I'm trying to show you. Probably a nail, but you know what? We'll, we're going to go for it anyway. I already opened it. Still in there. Now it's sounding more like iron, but you never know. Some things I pulled out of here sounded exactly like iron, and they were pretty cool things. So, <sighs> when you're in a spot like this, gotta give everything a chance. So, I'm gonna give it a chance to show me it's a nail. <laughs> Definitely wasn't over there, so that's something else. kind of looked like a nail, didn't it? I gotta put this back on vibrate. This is probably a big piece of iron. Yeah, it's something that doesn't want to be... Look at that, man. <laughs> It's probably a nail because it's making me chase it. And it is. Woo, there it is. Nail time. So let's try and swing over that. I'm still getting a squeaker off to the side though. But I do think it's a nail because it's got a lot of iron in it. Got a lot of iron. And yes, I'm wearing sandals in the wood, because you know what? I can. I wouldn't suggest it, but yeah, it's iron. It's like totally flat grunt. But I opened it, so we're gonna check it out. Let's see if we can find it. It's not even squeaking now. Definitely deep. Definitely deep. Oh, I hear it. Hear it? Yeah. Either that's a rock or it's a giant piece of iron. Well, it wasn't in it, so it was a rock. <laughs> there, 
I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's it because I can't see it. way behind the hole. Let's see. Whoop. Is that a rock or is it it? That's a rock. <laughs> well, at least it's not a giant piece of iron. I think I found it. There it is. It's a piece of iron, like I said. What kind of iron is it? I don't know. It's got an interesting little shape. I don't know what that was. Hmm. I don't know. I think that's it, though. First hole, iron. But if it's squeak, I'm digging it, so. Let's see. I always check your holes. Nothing else. Okay. On to the next. Hey guys, we got a friend. He's poking. Nope, nope, the head's going back in. The head's going back in. Here he is. Here he or she. I have to look underneath. But... Hi. <laughs> well, come on, say hi to the world. Say hi to the fine folks watching you at home. No, you're going to close up. You know, the box where this is the only one that can almost completely close up. Yeah.